Okay, I think we're going to make a start. Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, my name is Semin Davoudi. I'm Professor of Environmental Policy and Planning uh, at the School of Architecture, Planning and Landscape here in the university. I also have some sort of um, responsibilities as the coordinator of environmental justice and governance theme in our institute, NIRES, uh, which I believe is hosting this event. Um, so a very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, welcome to Newcastle City if you're coming from elsewhere, and I know that some people are coming from outside the city. And also welcome to the university. And I'm very sorry that we couldn't manage the weather for you. Um, as I said, um, the event is hosted by the Institute for Research on Sustainability, or NIRES. And sustainability is one of the three societal challenge themes on which the university is marshalling a significant proportion of its research power. And the other two are aging and social renewal. All three are driven by the university's commitment to excellence in research, but with a purpose. NIRES coordinates sustainability research across disciplinary boundaries. So it's a multidisciplinary institute. And it does that to deliver practical, engaged solutions to real world problems and real world societal challenges. We do that under the banner, which was introduced by the previous director of the institute, and we, everybody is very happy, including the current director, Professor Phil Taylor, under the banner of enough for all forever. Obviously, we can discuss that for a long time. But what I wanted to say is that one thing which is putting such an aspiration, enough for all forever, <coughs> Uh, at risk is climate change. And as I'm sure this audience knows very well, the latest scientific evidence from the IPCC report has left very little doubt about the urgency of the need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In the UK, we have a long-term and legally binding framework under the Climate Change Act of 2008 to do so and to actually reduce our emissions by 80% by the middle of this century is a very, very ambitious target. And on top of that, we have another legally binding EU target to source 15% of our energy from renewable resources. There are, as you know, a raft of policies and initiatives which have been put in place to achieve this ambitious transition to low carbon economy. One such initiative is the growing number of community energy projects, which is the focus of today's workshop. Community energy projects not only help the country to reduce its carbon footprint, it also reconnects communities to their energy. It can unlock community investment. It can help to bring the communities together. They can enable communities to benefit from local renewable resources, provide a sense of control and ownership of their own energy supplies. So its benefit is not just environmental, but also social and also economical for those who benefit from it. Today's workshop provides an excellent opportunity for sharing the experiences from a number of successful but very different approaches that three rural communities have adopted in relation to community renewables and low carbon energy. And to tell us the story of those places, we have four excellent and inspiring speakers for the morning session. Uh, they will be introduced properly in due course. 
And in the afternoon session, there will be four parallel workshops, each of them focusing on a particular themes. The workshop in particular provide a good opportunity to discuss some of the issues that are going to be raised this morning. And they also provide an opportunity to exchange ideas and probably more importantly, explore possibilities for future events and future research and networking. So that is all I've been asked to do. I hope you find the day stimulating and enjoyable. And now, without further ado, and not wanting to um, use a lot of the time, I'm going to hand over to uh, Rona Pringle here, who together with Lindsay Blake have actually organized this wonderful and very timely event. And may I thank both of them greatly for actually doing that and providing us with opportunity to share our ideas and experiences. Thank you. Thanks very much.